Moving can cost a lot of money. So we've decided to grab the best tips from the people who we've helped move to share them with you today. possibility of lower payments and utilities. If you are moving out of state, know what the market looks like so you can set appropriate expectations on what you get for your money. Request copies of past owner utility statements and anything else that's relevant so you can weigh your options appropriately and save some moolah during this difficult time. This should be your first step. Prioritize your furniture items which cost more money for storage or high mileage costs to ship. If you're thinking about changing your design style or replacing the large items, now is the time to do that before you spend all that extra cash to move it just to get rid of it later. Eat all of that food in the fridge before throwing it away or just handing it over to your friends. Even a few days of fast food and takeout can really add up. Stop paying those monthly subscription fees. Watch your accounts for apps and things you've subscribed for on your phone or computer. There are probably several accounts that you're paying for monthly that you will not be using when you move, so now is a great time to end those. Cut up your credit cards that you haven't used or ones that you actually need to stop using. Close them down and turn off any automatic bill payment options that may still exist on these accounts. Even open accounts with no activity can affect your credit score. So moving time is a great time to consolidate <laughs> and get a grip on your spending. <laughs> Chanel thinks so too. <laughs> Plan your move as far in advance as possible to take advantage of cheaper moving services. You'll likely need to pay for a full service move, but you'll be purchasing more time, so the overall cost will still be less than if you try to hire movers in a short notice. Look into how much it would cost you in transportation and meals while away from home before booking hotel accommodations, which can increase the length of your stay and ultimately increase the overall cost from expenses that are often overlooked when making budget plans, such as work reimbursement, increased insurance premiums, and even childcare. Sell what you don't want or don't need for money as you move. Donating items and selling it on sites like Amazon or Craigslist or even Marketplace is another option to get some cash for your next move. Do not use a large moving company. Hire a more local or domestic independent company instead as they're about half the cost of a full service moving company. Get qualified references before selecting a mover. A reputable mover is both insured and bonded and they should be given preference over an unqualified one because if there's damage done during the process, liability will depend on the type of moving company you hired. To find qualified movers in your areas, look online and use search engines and talk to your friends who've used such services.